Fine. How much? Five ninety nine for that? Nah, let's make a real burger. Welcome to Dynatry. Hello, I'm Matt. Before you get started, let me say welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then let me say welcome. Like all families with children, have you ever noticed that they seem to know and understand one sentence before they've even learnt to talk? You know, that sentence, can we have a Happy Meal? Or how about, can we have a McDonald's? Or my case, Dad, I want a Big Mac! Urgh, fine. So today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade Big Mac that my own family has tried and tested with a homemade Mac sauce that you won't be able to find anywhere else. So let's get to it. First, I am going to cut some delicious Rabbi's beef steak into small cubes. Then mince it through my terrible Lakeland mincer. If you want to know why, then you can watch the full review on the channel or by clicking the link above. Now I am going to mix the rabbi beef steak in with a 500 gram pack of beef mince with a fat content of 12% or less and a teaspoon of salt for seasoning. Once all the beef has been mixed, then it is time to press it into some beef patties. I know, I really should use a burger press, but for some reason, I just find making burgers this way is real satisfying and gives that burger a real homemade vibe. But that's me, and if you want to use a burger press, then that's fine by me as well. Now let's put them delicious looking burgers to one side and deal with the bread buns. I am now going to cut two bread buns so I can use the bottom as the middle slice from one bread bun and the other bun for the top and bottom of the Big Mac. You can either throw away the rest or keep it for another day.
then spread some butter onto each side. You can use margarine as a substitute and it will work just as good. I do understand that everyone has their own choice. If you really want to make homemade bread buns then please go right ahead. But I'm using shop bought and personally I do believe this is the right way to go when making a Big Mac. Everyone knows what makes a Big Mac. That's right, it's the delicious signature secret Mac sauce. And luckily for us, I have my own homemade version. So in this version, I am going to use mayonnaise, French dressing, American yellow mustard, clear malt vinegar, sweet pickled spread, granulated onions, paprika, pickled gherkins and garlic powder. If you would like to try this version of the homemade mac sauce then please click the link above or you can find the video on our channel. Now on to the onions. As you may know, the onions from McDonald's are very hard to mimic. This is because McDonald's use dehydrated onions and is one of the reasons why it is so hard to recreate. Luckily, I think I have actually found a way and it's quite simple to me and will taste just as good. I'm going to use a large brown onion and very finely chop them. Then add the onions in a pan with 200 mils of water. Place the pan on a medium heat with a lid and steam the onions until the water has fully evaporated, but make sure not to brown them. While the onions are cooking we can toast the bread buns in a frying pan. Place the pan on high heat and place the bread buns on the frying pan when the pan is hot. When the bread buns are toasted, place them to one side. And now onto the burgers. Before anyone sees out, ah nah, that McDonald's now steam their burgers. At least they do in the UK. So I'm going to do the same. Let's put some water in the frying pan with the burgers and cook on medium to high heat with something to cover them. In this case, I will be using my own slow cooker lid. Water is a fantastic way to make any burger juicy.
Once the burgers are almost cooked, it is time to add the cheese. Now I know McDonald's use American sliced cheese, but here in the UK, I just can't seem to find it. So really, you should use American, but if you can't find it, then all I can say is use your favourite cheese. In my case, I'm using Red Leicester. Place the cheese onto the burgers and place the lid back onto the frying pan. It's time to finally get the homemade McDonald's Big Mac put together. Don't forget, McDonald's do build the burger in two halves. So I am doing the same thing, building the burger in two halves. Now let's grab the toaster buns and place some of the steamed onions on. And then spread some of that delicious homemade Mac sauce on both sides. Next would be the gherkins, but sadly, my kids hate them. Then add some of your sliced lettuce. I'm cheating because I'm using the pre-sliced. And let's not forget the burgers in the middle sliced bread. To make it as authentic as possible, serve with some frozen french fries and add a little salt. Place some extra homemade mac sauce and serve. And there we have it. Now you can sit back and watch as each plate comes back empty. Don't forget if you want to try the homemade mac sauce, you can click the link on the screen above or below in the description or find it on our channel. If you try the recipe out, please don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you liked the video, please don't forget to like, click the bell, share and subscribe to the channel. If you have already done so, then all I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart. It really does help. And now, all I can say is, till next time, thanks for watching Dana Tribe.